Since Ethereum's successful merge last week to the new, more energy efficient platform, Ether has traded lower, down almost 20% at its lowest point. For comparison, Bitcoin was only down 9% in the same time period. One obvious reason for the weakness throughout the crypto space is the rapid rise in U.S. interest rates, with the two-year Treasury yield having risen from 3.80 to a high of 3.99 since the merge on September 15th. Higher rates have historically had negative implications for assets with zero yield, like precious metals or cryptocurrencies, but rates alone fail to explain the disproportionate weakness in Ether versus Bitcoin. Perhaps Ether traders had built up long positions in Ether in anticipation of strength in the months leading up to the merge, and after the merge, those positions would have motivation to sell. This is an example of the old market axiom, buy the rumor, sell the news. And although the current details of this may not fit perfectly into that saying, the point is that positions build up prior to a story and then tend to liquidate once the story is materialized. Now, a reminder that the CME group now offers options on both micro Bitcoin and micro Ether futures. We're going to be using the futures for these examples. If a trader believes that Ether could fall from here, they could express that by selling the September micro Ether futures contract at 1328 and target a move to the June lows of 890. A stop for this trade could be placed above at 1600. This trade could make $43.80 if your target is reached and risks $27.20 if you're stopped out of your level. Now, if a trader believes that Ether could head higher from here, they could express that by buying the September micro Ether futures contract at 1328 and target a move to those August highs of 2000. A stop for this trade could be placed below at 950. This trade could make $67.20 if your target is reached and risks $37.80 if you're stopped out of your level.